su progreso y gracias a la misericordia. This is Francis de Brujo Luis. This is the second part in the magical and spiritual uses of the Psalms. If you have not seen part one, please go through my channel and look for part one. It's titled the same way except for part one. It is the way that I use the Psalms in my spiritual and magical workings. Like I said in the first introduction of the first part, uh, you can use any Psalm book that you choose or any book of Psalms, or you can use a Catholic Bible. Okay, so this is the second part in the two-part series of the spiritual and magical uses of the Psalms. So please go check out my, my the first part of the video. Remember there's 150 Psalms and how I use them spiritually and magically. If you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe, please leave a comment down below on how you use the Psalms spiritually and magically if you see that you use them differently. Thank you very much. Santo Sanse, Sancista Brujo Luis. Psalm 73 is against envy and to attract good luck within your life. So that's a good psalm for that. Psalm 74, which is right here. Psalm 74 is to defeat uh, bitter enemies or rivals or those who are persecuting you. Psalm 74 is to defeat that, to defeat your enemies, uh, whether they are neighbors or family members or anyone that wishes you harm, Psalm 74 is definitely good for that. Psalm 75, Psalm 75 is for you to find, to give, forgive your enemies, okay? Uh, to fix problems with loved ones, uh, especially loved ones or family members or friends that you have a problem with, with Psalm 75 is good for that. Uh, it's good to uh, bring peace within the home, the household, or your surroundings. Psalm 76, which is right here. Psalm 76 is protection against accidents from fire and water, whether it be of, uh, of uh, an object that you ho own, your home, or your body. Okay, so this is a good psalm, uh, to, which is Psalm 76, uh, to recite. is a psalm that you say when you want to make a promise and you you got to keep that promise and you want that person to believe that promise that you're going to you're going to say uh, Psalm 76 is definitely good for that. Psalm 77 which is down here is uh safe travel, bring comfort, calm nerves against uh nervous problems or anxieties or or depressions or or boggled thoughts and minds you know when your mind is very boggled or weighed down psalm 78 is uh for protection of your children family a uh, family peace family un unity uh to bring peace to a troubled child or a troubled uh person in your family who who feels uh, abandoned uh some or is having problems in school or in work or is just not concentrating and has a lot of uh, problems within the mind, you know, thinking too much. Psalm 78 is definitely, definitely, definitely good for that. Psalm 79. Where is Psalm 79? Psalm 79 is right here. Is uh, to make enemies pay for their wrongdoing. Okay, to bring karma back to wrongdoers. I mean, anyone who does wrong is sooner or later, you know, will pay. Um, but this is just to speed up if you believe in karma, uh, if you believe in cause and effect. It's just to speed up that. Okay, so Psalm 79 is definitely uh, good for that. Especially for those who have done you wrong or have have done a loved one wrong. Psalm 79 is good for that. Uh, Psalm 80 is to keep enemies away. Keep those who wish you harm or want to destroy your life or want to harm you or control you. Uh, and Or just hurt your life or just always in your life and you just want to separate that, yourself from that person. 
Uh, Psalm 80 is good for that. Psalm 81 is to save a, a friendship from a dispute, uh, from errors that you may have done with that friendship and you want to fix that, to reconcile, with, or reconcile, is that the word they want to say? You know, rekindle or reconcile uh, a broken friendship. Uh, it's good, it's a psalm for, of thanksgiving uh, for when a special request is fulfilled. Psalm 81 is good for that. Psalm 82, which is right here. Psalm 82 is uh, for for justice in all forms of lawsuits. Uh, it it's a it's also assists in attracting business or uh, you know people into your business uh, to your place of work. You want your place to be busy, or you know if you if you own something, or you want to keep busy, or you want to attract uh, employment, or you want to attract a job. Psalm eighty two is definitely good for that. Psalm eighty three is for protection from spiritual warfare from psychic vampires uh, to overcome fear caused by enemies against a curse, a hex, a cross condition to return evil to the sender, to make a sorcerer or a witch's magic impotent if uh, a sorcerer or a witch uh, sent you a lower level spirit uh, or uh, a trapped spirit. Uh, this is a, a psalm that's really good to recite uh, to make that important, which is Psalm 83, uh, to send that spirit back to where it came, uh, to either give it enlightened or enlightenment or just to definitely just make it important. Psalm 84. Psalm 84 is to bring peace and strength and courage in troubled times or with troubled people or people who uh, suffer, you know, problems, they, they're just not happy with how they look or how they feel, uh, you know, for quieting the mind, uh, for bringing peace and, and inner joy and inner love into oneself. Psalm 85, and I'm making sure that Psalm right here, Psalm 85 is to reconcile with an old friend, to stop quarreling or fights or dispute, to calm one's anger, one's rage, or one's wrath, uh, to really find inner peace. You know, you have to forgive people, and Psalm 85 is a really good Psalm to say for that. Psalm 86, which is right here, is victory in life for strength and courage, especially during our times of trials and tri trials and tribulations. Psalm uh, 87 is for relief from depression, anxieties, worry. It is a psalm which is Psalm 87, uh, for purifying the home, uh, for house cleansing, uh, to bring peaceful energies within the home. Psalm 83 is for, which is right here, uh, spiritual healing, uh, bring a cure, faith healing. Uh, you know, this is definitely a good song for that. To forgive those who trespass against you. If you believe in you know, the Ten Commandments uh, and you want to forgive those who trespassed against you, then Psalm 88 is definitely good for that. Psalm 89 is recovery of a patient, anyone who may be in the hospital, uh, recovery from, for, from a drug addict or a person who has an addiction. Uh, it's safety for, it's a, a good psalm for safety within a trip, uh, healing against he health problems, uh, caused by bad decisions. Uh, uh, psalm 89 is also good to remove bad karma, to cleanse yourself and to start all over again, to start fresh and to start new. Okay. So it's very, it's, Psalm 89 is really, cleansing psalm, a really purifying psalm, Psalm uh, 90, let me see if I can find Psalm 90, and I'm going to go start getting lost in a second, I think this is Psalm 90, yep, Psalm 90, so Psalm 89, if you see, is a long, 
it's a it's a pretty long psalm okay so psalm 90 is against deception okay against evil spirits or ghosts or when you're being cheated on it's a good psalm for success in your work to overcome depression uh and again not just depression but anxiety uh phobia a fear psalm 91 i think that's psalm 91 uh again uh, it's a good psalm for psalm for chronic diseases uh for evil spirits against evil spirits uh, for protection uh, against malignant forces, against poltergeists, against demons, against uh, lower level spirits within the home, and you want to quiet a, a, an intranquil spirit or an unsettled entity within the home or within your surrounding, Psalm 91 is definitely good for that. Psalm 92 which is right here, is to attain high honors, protection of the home, uh, protection from floods, fires, and natural disasters. Psalm 90, I think I'm at Psalm 93. I think I'm at Psalm 93, which is right here. Psalm 93 is to bless a new home. Okay, uh, to protect a new home or new belongings or pose possessions, uh, things that you possess, a car, uh, a cell phone, whatever you want to protect. You know, Psalm 93 is definitely good for that. It's good uh, Psalm against um, accidents, uh, protection from floods and storms and, 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 and accidents uh, within the home or while traveling within your car. Okay, or an automobile or a carriage if you lived in those days. Psalm 94 is to overcome anxiety, banish evil, and defeat an enemy. Psalm 95. Where's Psalm 95? Which is right here. This is a beautiful psalm for uh, Thanksgiving. When you want to give thanks for a, a request that was given to you. Remember that when, the, when, when you ask from your spirits, after the, they give to you, you have to, you know, give a prayer of thanksgiving. Be thankful for what uh, your spirit guides or your spirits or, or your magic has done for you. You have to be thankful. So this is a good psalm, which is 95, uh, for when something has been fulfilled in your life and you want to give thanks uh, for that. Psalm 96 and 97, which pretty much are the same thing, it's for happiness within the home, for offerings, for times of joys and celebrations, uh, for special requests and special occasions. And I want to make sure that I don't get lost from uh, Psalm 97, which is this one right here. Psalm 96 and Psalm 97 is definitely good for that, for times of joy, uh, happiness, uh, a new union, a new baby, uh, you want to bless something that's new in your life, Psalm 96 and 97 is good for that, Psalm 98 is here, and is to establish peace and unity between families, victory over family battles, uh, to, you know, to calm a family battles and, and, and jealousy and envy and all that jazz. Psalm 99 uh, is for divine inspiration, for premonitions, for meditations, for finding answers, special requests, see the truth in people. So, you know, when someone comes to you and you meet this person for the first time, you want to make sure that this person is trustworthy. This is a good song to recite when you're going to meet this person and to find the truth in those things that are hidden from you, you know, that people try to hide from you. And Psalm 100, which is right here, is to overcome all enemies, okay? Uh, and it's a psalm of giving thanks when a request has been fulfilled. This is a good psalm for an uh, confidence uh, 
and encouragement, not just confidence in yourself, but helping those who don't have confidence in themselves. Uh, you recite the psalm for them so that they may find confidence and encouragement. Okay, so now we're going to go to Psalm 101. Psalm 101 is a psalm, which is right here. It's a psalm for protection from persecution against evil spirits or people or individual. Uh, it's a good psalm to recite to see the wickedness in the hearts of others or their true intentions against adversities uh, for self-improvement and empowerment over one's enemies or their desires or wishes, which is Psalm 101. Psalm 102 is against uh, psychological or mental illnesses to calm uh, anguish, okay, and anxieties and, and problems within the mind to have a sound sleep when you feel you're overweighed by, by thoughts by the evil eye, by jealousy or envy, and uh, for, or illnesses, psychological illnesses uh, caused by the influences of external events around you uh, in your life. Okay, Psalm one hundred and three, which is right here, is asking as uh, a good psalm for asking of mercy. For asking for mercy or for forgiveness from your God, your spirit guides, your guardian angel, you know, for asking them for forgiveness when you've offended them or offended those around you, uh, to, f f to find forgiveness within a friend when you've offended a friendship or a lover or a relationship. It's a, uh, Psalm 103 is also good for uh, special petitions and for help in times of distress from your guardian angel and your spirit guides. Psalm number 104 is to destroy the evil influences of demonic entities, lower level spirits or lower frequency, what, what we call demonic spirits, okay, within the home. So you want to destroy the influence of them, whether it be on your person or your, your belongings or your home, something that is cursed, you want to purify or you want to get rid of or remove it from your life. Uh, Psalm 104 is good for that. Uh, it's to communicate with one's guardian uh guardian angel and spirit guides psalm 104 is good also for protection while traveling uh whether it be by boat automobile air bicycle or even walking uh, psalm 104 is good for that psalm 105 and i'm going to get right here psalm 105 is for those who suffer depression or feel anguish or are distraught or are in deep despair you know especially for your loved ones uh, psalm 105 is good for that psalm 106 where is 106 psalm 106 which is right here is against envy against the lies uh, against lies told about you uh, it's a good psalm against earthbound or trickster spirits, spirits of lower level frequencies. It's a good psalm to remove ghosts uh, from your home, hauntings, uh, to quiet a room uh, for sound sleep from negative energies, to put a shield of protection around yourself from a lower level spirits, Psalm 106 is definitely good for that Psalm 107 and I'm crinkling the pages Psalm 107 is to bring back a lost love uh, someone that you've lost or, or a lover or a friendship that that 
has faded or has you know moved on and you want to reconcile or you want to close a chapter in your life or you want to find closure you know sometimes we don't find closure so psalm 107 is a good psalm for finding closure it's a good psalm for finding lost objects or material possessions uh it's a good psalm uh, to secure great success in business uh that's a really good psalm for that uh okay i think that was what psalm 107 psalm 108 where are you, Psalm 108? Psalm 108 is for asking strength or spiritual help and guidance in times of great distress and tri tribulations and sorrows. Okay, Psalm 109, and I don't want to get lost, but I think I'm going to get lost. That is, yep, Psalm 109 is against uh, an enemy, against gossip and slander uh, for revenge and to return wickedness to its sender. It's against, it's a good psalm against uh, occult enemies, uh, sorcery, necromancers, black magic, uh, fetishes or, or objects that were thrown on you, uh, that, that have caused harm to you. Psalm 109 is good for that. Psalm 110 is for strength and control over enemies, having the upper hand in all situations in your life, uh, to compel an enemy, uh, or those who oppress you, uh, to back down or to have the upper hand against your enemies. This is a good psalm for loyalty, for the support of your friends and families and colleagues and employees. You want them to have your back and to be by your side in, in times of when you need them. Psalm 110 is definitely good for that. Psalm 111 which is right here, Psalm 111 is for good memory. When you want to remember something, when you're having, uh, when you're studying and, and you want to remember things, uh, this is a good Psalm, which is 111 for studying, for good memory, uh, for uh, wisdom and knowledge, for tests, uh, for examinations uh, for when you want to pass something uh, whether it be it's a test in college or a driver's license or whatever it may be and you want to remember these things with study and this psalm it will help you a lot okay psalm 112 is to increase power against all phobias within your life so if you're suffering from a phobia or anything that causes you fear psalm 112 is good for that Psalm 113 is to protect a pregnancy, uh, to protect a, a motherhood, uh, protect a child within a womb, especially from the evil eye, uh, to protect a an unborn child or even a newborn child. In, in Puerto Rican traditions, we give la mano, uh, the, the La mano de Asabache, the jet hand, the figa, it looks like this. And this is a good psalm uh, to recite, which is Psalm 113, over that amulet. And when you place it on the child to protect them from that child from the evil eye. Psalm 114, which is right here, is for, for success in business against natural, uh, natural disasters, floods, hurricanes, accidents okay which is psalm 114 psalm 115 which is right here is to break uh the powers of fetishes or idols or black magic to break the power of voodoo doll doll magic uh or to um break uh the evil intentions of a, a talisman or or something an object that was given to you that is supposed to cause you harm and you touched it well this is a good psalm to break that curse or to remove that negative energy from your surroundings psalm 116 which is right here is to be safe from uh violence and un unexpected death or a 
premature death, for protection from violence, uh, from lies, uh, from bodily harm and from weapons, those who may use weapons with you or weapons against your loved ones. Uh, Psalm 116 is good for that. Psalm 117 uh, is for charity. When you want to give charity or you want to help your, 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 your fellow man, you know, uh, this is a good Psalm to definitely say when you want to keep a promise to, uh, people around you psalm 117 is good for that psalm 118 is for strength and courage especially when walking alone at night against violence or attacks against stabs wounds gunshots against uh rebellious acts towards you or against you psalm uh one was it 117 is good for that psalm 118 which is right here, is to sil silence heretics, uh, backstabbers, and occultists, those who are spreading gossips or malicious lies against you. Psalm 118 is good for that. Psalm 119. Where are you, Psalm 119? You're going to get me lost. I know you're going to get me lost. Oh, this is a this is a long one. A couple of pages long. Psalm one nineteen is uh, for upper bodily pain, healing over uh, one's wombs, or I mean, sorry, the limbs, um, to remove uh, nervousness. Uh, to keep promises, uh, it's a good psalm to keep promises when you suffer nervousness uh, for academic success to help uh, one make the right decision, okay, uh, to overcome temptations for healing a headache uh, caused by eye strains or stress against mental confusion, protection of, a, of family members against lies, uh, uh, safety protection of a person who left the home, you want them to safely come back home against robberies, theft, nightly protection, uh, and all protections of the home. 119 is good for that. Psalm 120 is to find favor from a judge, to find favor within court cases for serenity within the home or hostile atmospheres or surroundings. Uh, Psalm 120 is also good for lies and uh, deceitful people, protection at work, uh, uh, help with your colleagues, uh, it's protection from a deceitful boss, uh, deceitful people or people who slander or talk gossip within the work. Psalm 21. I'm telling you, it's almost done. Psalm uh, 121 is good for, uh, which is right here, uh, is for travel, uh, safety. Uh, travel when you're alone. It's a good psalm to recite for that against dangerous situations and against attacks. Psalm 22, which is right here, uh, is to bless a home for purification of a home, a house. Or a belonging. Psalm 23 is, uh, hmm, Psalm 23 is, uh, I can't remember what this sounds good for. Psalm 23, 123 is for calming a, a, a headache, a strain, ear aches, uh, which is a good psalm for that, for spiritual healing, uh, for healing the body, uh, and for us. Uh, this psalm is also good for uh, a loved one who has strayed away or has moved away. And you, again, you want to find closure within that. Psalm 123 is good for that. Psalm 124, which is up here, is for journey, safety within journey, uh, freedom from accidents while traveling, uh, and to escape persecution from one's enemies. Psalm 125, I think that's right there. Psalm 125 is for protection again, 
again from tra- for travel, uh, from disasters, uh, especially if you're traveling overseas or in a foreign country and you want to be protected. You want to be protected and you want your home to be protected. Uh, it's a good psalm for nightly protection. It's a psalm for when you're sleeping to find a sound sleep. Good protection, uh, good psalm for astral travel against uh, demons, incubus, imps, succubuses, or any jinns or any elemental spirit that may stir at night. Psalm 125 is definitely good for that. And Psalm 126 is to heal an infant who is sick uh, for prosperity, for strength. Uh, for learning and to help you within times of trials and tribulations. Told you I, I waited so long to do this video because it's just so many Psalms. Psalm 127, which is right here, is to prevent the evil eye on a newborn child and to ensure their success and a healthy growth. Psalm 128, which is right here, is for finding work or employment. Uh, and it's also good if you want to find work or a job or employment. This is a definitely good psalm to recite. 170, uh, I'm sorry, 128 is also a good psalm for a fortunate pregnancy or a safe pregnancy. Psalm 129 is against troublesome employees or bosses or co-workers, against uh, troublesome uh, tenants and neighbors and gossips and lies and slanders and so forth. Psalm 130, which is over here, is to help in moving, uh, removing bad karma, uh, karmic backlashes, uh, to seek forgiveness uh, when you've caused an offense or you've caused wickedness on someone and then you, you want to, first of all, ask them to forgive you, but you want to find forgiveness from, you know, karmic or cause and effect, okay? Uh, Psalm, where am I now? Psalm 131, I think I am. It's a protection against the sin, a sin and pride and calming a troublesome uh, child or an adolescent who is, who is suffering uh, growing pains. Psalm 132 which I think this is it, and actually that looks like 114, 120, 134, but I'm going to stick here for a second. Uh, Psalm 132 is against thieves and robbery of the home and belongings. Psalm 133, this is Psalm 133 right here, is for love and friendship, for family harmony, uh, it's a good psalm against fires within the home, uh, electrical fires or, or dangers within the home. Psalm 1, oh, I think I'm going to get lost again. Psalm 134 is to increase intelligence, protection of the home, especially when you're not there. Uh, to think, to be, to think more, to be more clarity in the mind. Sometimes our mind is so boggled down with so many things that we're not thinking clearly. Psalm 134 is definitely good for that. Psalm 135, which is right here, is repenting from sins against voodoo. When I say voodoo, I don't mean the religion. Uh, I don't want anyone throwing crazy messages, but voodoo as in black magic. Let's say that black magic, sorcery, hexes, curses, cross condition those who who throw black magic at you uh psalm 135 is good for that i shouldn't use the word voodoo because a lot of people will get offended and voodoo means spirit it has nothing to do with black magic so i myself want to correct myself there psalm 136 is for uh safety in travel overseas uh it's a good psalm for times of battles and war, safety of loved ones and safety of the home uh, when there's battles within the home or battles within oneself. This is a good psalm to recite. Psalm 137 is against hate, envy, malice. It's a good psalm for blessing uh, 
a newborn baby, a newborn child, a new family member. Uh, Psalm 137 is good for that. Psalm 138 is good. And that's Psalm 138. For faith healing, uh, for uh, energy healing, uh, for using the hands such as Reiki, you know, when you're, when you're cleansing a person. Psalm 138 is definitely good for that. It's a good psalm for uh, removing negative energy uh, from the home, from a body, from a person, or from a, from an object or a place or a thing. And it's also a good psalm for traveling within air, within like a flight or a plane. That's a good psalm to recite. Psalm 139 is uh, for love amongst uh, married people, blessing a pregnancy, blessing a union, uh, if you want to become pregnant, Psalm 139 uh, is definitely good for that. Psalm 1, where am I? 140 is to remove uh, hatred from those who hate you, those who wish you ill, to calm a troubled uh, uh, relationship, uh, to calm a fight between a husband and a wife. Uh, it's also a good psalm against black magic, violence, bodily harm, physical assaults, and attacks. <clears throat> I am almost done and I need some water. Psalm 141. I think this is going to be the video with the less views because it's so long. Psalm 141 is to remove uh, fears to keep away evil association, uh, protect from worldly harms. It's a good psalm for drug addictions and all addictions of the flesh or, you know, uh, any form of addiction, whether it's a pleasurable addiction or an addiction that's going to cause you harm sooner or later, addiction of eating too much food, uh, that's definitely, you know, a good psalm to recite. Psalm 142 is a good psalm uh, when you have pains in your arms or in your thighs or in your bones uh, and you're getting older and you're getting weaker, this is a good psalm for spiritual strength uh, to release a dependency from a medication against depression, diseases, mental illnesses, anguish, and despair. Psalm 143, and right there, is that 143? Yes, it is. 143 is a good psalm for healing from an alcohol or drug addiction, from gambling uh, addiction, from debts, when we owe uh, debts, is that how you say that word? Debts, when we owe money uh, against financial troubles. Psalm 144 which is right here. Psalm 144 is to uh, cure a broken arm, to help cure uh, broken limbs, you know, help them cure quicker. Uh, it's a good psalm to protect you from, uh, what do you call it? I don't want to say the proper words. I don't want to say gang members. I don't want to say like hoodlums. You know, it's a good psalm for hoodlums, for violence, assault, especially from young adults or young individuals. I guess, you know, that's the best word I can come up with that. And Psalm 144 is definitely for protection from disrespectful uh, young adults, teenagers. You know, and they're, they're all over the place. Psalm 145. And I want to make sure I'm at 145. That's 146. But let's pretend I'm not going to go back. But Psalm 145 is against fears of ghosts, evil spirits. Spirits, this is that psalm right here, for general courage, uh, for control over obstacles. Any obstacles that you have in your life that you want to remove from your life, Psalm 145 is good for that. Psalm 146, which is right here, is for, uh, for emotional wounds, uh, emotional baggages from a past, uh, when you couldn't find closure or when someone left you without closure. This is a good psalm to 
to recite. It's a, a psalm that's really good to recite when you feel in times of ruin or financial difficulties or abandonment or divorce or someone left you. Okay, Psalm 147 is to heal bruises, cuts, wounds. This is uh, Psalm 147. To heal bruises, cuts, wounds, bites, stings. Uh, to heal fractures. Uh, again, I think I said bruises and cuts. Uh, uh, for peace of mind, to stop anxiety. Uh, and against panic attacks. Psalm 148, and I can't believe I'm almost done. 148, yes. 148 is for protection of your home, the environment around you, nature, uh, for protection of the home, you know, the earth, uh, especially the home around you, your nature, uh, your home from fires and from natural disasters. Psalm 149, which is right here, is for receiving justice, asking for help, a uh, spiritual lawyer, times of court cases or court matters uh, during incarceration. You want to come out uh, stronger. You want to learn from your past. This is a good psalm to recite. And the last psalm, which is Psalm 150, is the psalm of thanksgiving uh, when we overcome all our trials and tribulations and we come out stronger and we learn from our past from those things that, that that have made us fall, but we come out stronger. This is a good psalm to recite. It's a psalm of praising, of wishes, of desires, especially those things that have been granted and you want to be thankful. Psalm 150 is a beautiful psalm to recite with that. These are the 150 psalms and how I use them in my spiritual and magical workings. In traditions such as hoodoo and brujeria in Latin America, if you have a certain way or a different way of how you use the Psalms, uh, please leave a comment down below if you watch this whole long video. Uh, and if I didn't mention how you may use a Psalm, leave a comment down below how you may use a Psalm because many people use the Psalms in different ways. They're beautiful spells and incantations from the Bible that can be used in your spiritual and magical workings. Anyways, let me cut this short because this video is long enough. This is San W. Luis. I really greatly appreciate it. Please press that like button. If you're still here watching this, please leave a comment. Please subscribe and please share on your favorite social media and with friends. Santo Sanse, this is Sancista Brujo Luis.